Wow, I've gone high tech. This is, um, what's this now? Studio 4, I think, isn't it? <laughs> I think this is the fourth place I've filmed in. But I felt like getting all light with my, my little colour change pyramid there. Um, so if I move there, then that can just, like, you can watch that in the background while I'm talking. <laughs> um, I didn't go for a walk. I cleaned my laptop. It does look really nice, look. There, well you can't really see it. Do you like the illuminated head? I love my illuminated head. <laughs> yeah, it's all pretty. It's my little office. I just fancied being in some nicer colours and dimmer lights and colour changes and stuff to piece me out a little bit. And to give me something to do because I'd uh, I've had an idea as well for some shit to do tomorrow, to just rejig some shit around in here, maybe make a bit more space. I'll put some dinner in the oven. Yeah, it's not really fucking interesting, is it? No. It's fucking not. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking... Where am I going back and go on about? I had a thing called I know I did. <laughs> I had a fucking thing called about something, and I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking say that one. It's gone. <laughs> um, but it's fucking weary, this shit. It's weary, it's weary. And I think sometimes it's as baffling to me as it is to you, because we've all been brought up with the same sort of conditioning, and the same sort of things, and like, you know, me, me particularly, a lot of the stuff that people have saying to me about how to get well I've got experience of I've seen results of and, and <laughs> he's not working he's not working um, but you know that whole thing that, that I, I said it in a video the other day like that what do you want what do you want I don't know because <laughs> it is easy to fucking think that it's like well what do you want do you want everyone to fucking give you rounds of applause for everything you do it's like you throw a lot of shit on facebook it's no wonder people are sort of fucking listening or there's a load of other shit on facebook for them to look at but it's um what was it i nearly had my thing coined then i nearly had my thing coined it was about it was about the reaching out thing it was about the reaching out thing that, yeah, that if I do reach out to you in any way, like, that you're going to think, well, you're going to feel that I'm being manipulative or putting pressure on you in some way. Because there's always an expectation of that. It's like in that book, Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus. And it says when you, you know, when you state something, and you know, I forget the man woman bit because I think a lot of women talk the way that it says men talk, and I think a lot of men talk the way it says women talk. Um, but it makes a very good point about the being listened to thing. Um, but it's you know, when a man asks, when a man states to another man, I can't do this, that's a f form of saying I invite your advice, and that's why he goes into advice mode. But I, I think that's just sexism. I think that's just fucking sexism. Um, because a lot of people go into advice mode and I think it is just a human thing that it's a transactional analysis type thing. You know, transactional analysis is, is simplifies it as parent, adult, child, but let's sort of similarise it to, you know, when you're approaching, it is a gesture of saying, I would like you to fix this. I have approached you and all the people I know, I'm in this particular quandary, I want to talk to you about it. I subconsciously and kind of consciously put an expectation upon you to do something about it. Um, and that's just natural. That's, you know, that's not me being all fucking whatever about it. But, you know, it's another reason why. For instance, I know, like, I've told my favourite human off for this a lot when I get in touch with her and she's busy and she apologises. <laughs> I said, why are you being well? Don't be sorry. You don't owe me. It's not you don't have a responsibility to me. And I'm fully aware of that with everyone. Which is one of the reasons I really flare up when people go, what do you want me to do about it? Or whatever. When people get like that with me. It's the thing I don't, I'm not expecting you to do anything about it. I mean, basically, the only thing I really want is for people to stop telling me it's not happening. And then trying to tell me what it is. 
Because I have particular fucking difficulty with that. Because of my schizoidal nerves. It's that fucking simple. That's the bit I can't fucking escape. It's that sensation that comes from misinterpreting and having someone see that you misinterpret it. Because when that happens in society, the usual response is laughter. Oh, you fucking mug. And that's, you know, how are you going to stop everyone in the world from doing that? Most people haven't even heard of schizotypal, let alone know what it means, let alone can distinguish between delusion, paranoia and schizoid, because there is a fucking difference. But it all gets called paranoia. Um, and the all the always cure is, it's not a fucking happening. Don't worry about it. Put it to the back of your mind. Distract yourself. Da 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 da. Um, but if you do that to someone who's schizotypal, do you know you could really set them off and just put them in a re really bewildered space? Will I do them any long term damage? Well, no, but when that keeps happening, it does make them get fucking worse over time and more and more reluctant to fucking interact with people. But I was only joking. And when I joke with everyone else, they can fucking handle it. How are you going to change that? You're not, I oh, are. Yeah. Fucking not. But literally, just, just my misinterpretation when it happens, when it does happen. It's the way it's dealt with a lot of the time. And it's dealt with like an accusation because it seems like one. It looks like one. Because it fucking felt like one. That's why I'm scared. That's why I'm scared. Because I react when you just get a little bit impatient. I think you suddenly got really fucking angry with me. Those kinds of things. Those are the shits I misinterpret. But remember, when anyone feels under attack, they're always justified. And that was, the, that was one of the think points that was in my head in the kitchen. Was that thing about when I do get panicked like that? Like the first thing people do is, hey, hey, it's all right. And they talk to you like you're a child. Because that's another transactional analysis thing going on. When you lose control of your emotion, the first person to lose their temper is the child. In any argument, the first person to come in an argument is the child. <coughs> so I just acted like one. Because I couldn't control my temper. But now, that's how you will talk to me. Without even realising it. Without even realising it. This kind of shit happens without even realising it. Literally, read that fucking book. <laughs> well, actually, someone should read it. Write a version of it. It says it simplifies it. Does it fuck? It is wordy as fuck. It simplifies the fucking model. Yeah. Probably a bit too simplistically, because there are, there are fucking developments of it. Do you know what I mean? There are developments of it. And it's like, when... When you read about this kind of shit, human beings adopt those different roles without knowing. Without fucking knowing. And it's got like when you when you ask someone for the time at the bus stop, and then it's got different examples of a parent child and an adult child and all of that shit. And it's literally thinking, fuck me, it's like Dr. Bleepity said to me, it's in every human interaction. And with mine, my schemas are in every human interaction. So this shit, which is was, you know, there was five of them out of fifteen at level seven. People will tell me that's just, oh, fuck what a bit of paper says. It's not what a bit of paper says. It's what a fucking clinical screening tool said. An analysis of me specifically said. That's what it is. It's just a representation of what is there. That's what that bit of paper is. And I know it's in every single human interaction because I know how quickly I can suddenly get really fucking bewildered and like, what? All right, then fucking. Uh, I just got flustered with people. And then I just seem like I'm off key and I don't know what. Uh, I'm watching myself get misinterpreted. I'm watching myself get misinterpreted. And then when I'm fucking flustered, that's when I start saying things wrong. And then I'm truly fucked. And I've watched myself do that. And do you know what? A lot of the stuff that I did in rehab, they'd always call that self-sabotage, emotional self-sabotage. You don't think you deserve friends, success, a lover, any of that shit. Deep down, there's part of you, and it was always me, it was me. It wasn't me. I've discovered why it was there. That was a big sort of part of it. But it was always like that it was emotional self-sabotage. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not. I'm not saying that it's not. And like I often say, I'll go 50% with you on a lot of things. But a lot of it is just the natural social dynamics of what gets said when a person rears up at that point and becomes out of order. They become a certain person and they invite the retribution of society. And when sort of society's rules have been kind of broken or overstepped, the person, the aggressor, bringing that person back into line, does not hold back one single fucking bit how they speak to that person anymore. All boundaries have now gone out of the window. All politeness and social fucking words. You fucking what? That's how people get. 
And that dynamic plays out in lots of fucking ways. People get really, you know, even in jest. People are always telling each other what to like, telling each other what's fucking shit. Oh, you don't like that, do you? People are always doing that to each other. There's a need to fucking put each other down. It really fucking is. To identify this is the right fucking way. This is what it is. And that comes up when there's a disagreement about anything. So if that disagreement is about mental health, guess what fucking happens? The same as what happens every other fucking time. People get fucking aggressive. They think that's the way to win an argument these days. is to fucking shout and really say it. That's, that's what people think arguing is. No, it fucking isn't. Yes, it fucking is. And it just escalates. And people think that's a fucking discussion. Just call each other a dick for what they fucking believe. But that, you know, you I know that you all see that shit fucking happening. And it's out there and it's fucking real. And it translates into disagreements about mental health. And I don't that's that's the sort of thing where it's like, okay, that's that's really like, wow, how the fuck do you do that? How the fuck do you do that without going on about your fucking mental health with every single fucking person that you ever fucking meet? Because that one's been said. <laughs> and it's been thought. But then I just think, well, there's, but there's a problem with my brain. And as soon as my brain isn't involved with everything that I think, do and say, then maybe it, it won't affect everything I think, do and fucking say. <laughs> but... Well, you know, 11.44. I had just enough time to make this and maybe, like, watch it back. And then my dinner will be ready. And then time's getting on. I'm literally fucking wasting time. But this is my company. I've said it a lot before. This is my company. It's almost like I'm with somebody. It's just talking. I'm at home just chatting. And it's just better than fuck all. <laughs> really. It's like... I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It's hard to logicalise a fucking forward plan out of this that's going to fucking work without having a defeatist attitude because it's not about how I go about it. It's about how I don't fit in. And how there's too much automatical stuff out there. There's too much automatical stuff. Um, a lot of people have been saying that this is a period for change. It's like, good, can we fucking do away with all this bullshit? Please. Can I, as I have been the main protagonist for change <laughs> towards attitudes, towards mental health, with my probably, I've about done a thousand of these now. I remember after like two or three weeks, I thought I'd done like 40 and it was well into the hundreds. So it was like 130 something. I was like, fucking hell. So then after six weeks, I thought it must be, it's like, I've been doing it six, seven months now. There must be fucking 2,000. I bet there is. <laughs> Wouldn't fucking surprise me. I haven't even looked. I don't care. Um, but, there's been a lot of expressions that I've just said. Can we just remove that one from society? You don't need to know why it's bad. You don't need to know why. Just don't say it anymore. That's that's all. Just don't say it anymore. We don't need to discuss it. There, there. Just don't fucking say it anymore. Um, and I'll just do a list. I'll do a whole episode. Right, we can get rid of that one. Just don't worry about it. Pull yourself together. Get over it. Move on. Um... No, and the more toxic ones. But more toxic situations that I am imprisoned into by people's automatic responses to out-of-kilter fucking synchronisation, not synchronisation with society. And that's how people deal with it, by shouting it back into place. That's, by and large. And that is what I fucking deal with. And that's what I'm always scared of. Always. Because it's like I'm always surfing the edge of it a lot of the time. And then that, that does make me look at myself and think, you are, you're just a weak fucking, just wary of everyone. And it's like, no, I'm not wary of everyone. I'm wary of the situation. I'm not wary of them. But then I'm wary of people in another sense, because, yes, I have been fucking manipulated and shut on and fucked about with, like we all fucking have. Because it's like, you wouldn't be fucking wary. But the other reason I'm wary is because I know I can never now 100% guarantee fucking any time that I've interpreted anyone's meaning about anything. Whether they say they love me, they hate me, they like me, they, they're, you know, no, I'm not pissing them off. No, it was fine. It wasn't a problem. Any of that shit. I can't fucking trust it. I can't trust anything. That's the reality. That's the fucking reality. I have to do everything by trying to think what's the logicalist. And I'm a fucking overthinker. I'm far too intelligent for my own good, as they say. 
I used, to, uh, I used to I used to like people talk about me eating a lot and used to say I eat a lot because it takes a lot of calories to be this awesome. Like, no, it takes a lot of calories to fuel this fucking searing fucking anxiety and despair. <laughs> That's what takes a lot of calories. <laughs> but at least I'm laughing. I don't think I've shouted much in this one. I haven't shouted a lot when my eyes go. I don't think so. Anyway, time will tell. Anyway, I'm wobbling um, on too much, so I'm going to go. Bye.